Anyway, right, prepare to start the race. We're on a 128k version, which means we get some engine noises. As we go along. And uh, it's really nice to be back to this one, because unlike other Spectrum 3D driving games, um, it's, it's like a lapped accelerator. I don't mean lapped as in you overtake cars that are going one lap less than you. It means that you press up, you increase the accelerator, but right now I'm not holding any keys down, yet I'm on full accelerator. On something like Chase HQ, if you want to stay at top speed, you need to keep your finger on the up button. Now, there are some some changes in that. Uh, Lotus Speed Trouble Challenge from Gremlin, um, that has an auto accelerate option, for example, and auto gears. Uh, but as I've been going back to some of the older Spectrum driving games, I'm finding that I, I'm realising that you know that there was one game that actually got it right, that the controls fit perfectly, and it's Wet Lamon. And I'd said in the review, you know, it looks, you know, Chase HQ shares some of the programmers. And the graphics of the road and the roadways and the curbs and the curbside roadside objects in something like Chase HQ are incredibly similar to Wet Clamon. But then when you go to actually the control system and it's like you've got to hold down the the control key, uh, the control key for accelerating, uh, and you've got to do your left and right, your turbo and everything, it just doesn't have that same smoothness. And, you know, Chase HQ is, is about avoiding other cars and then knocking your opponent off the road. It is on the list to probably get up at some point. It's probably one that I need to add in for August. And I, I've just been playing it recently. And I've just been going, you know, I'm enjoying Chase HQ, but I wish it was the White Glamour driving engine. So, I, you know, I'm not long back looking at retro games. Uh, there's still a lot of uh, classic Spectrum driving games that I need to revisit. I've not got back to Power Rift just yet, for example, which also shows some of the coding team that White Clamont had. Uh, as I said, just picked up again Lotus is Free. But, you know, the big titles that I remember from growing up, none of them have got the control system, the, the life like this, and the this feels challenging that Wet Clamont has. I'm, I, I'm still going to just leave a little bit of wiggle room out there, okay? Be aware of that there's going to be some wiggle room, but I do think Wet Clamont is the best control system on any Spectrum driving game out there. And if you want to question that, Please feel free. Leave yourself uh, a note in the comments and stuff. If you're in the chat, twitch.tv slash youandspets. Please do so. Look how close I am to... <laughs> really? Really? Less than one dot? What the... <laughs> twitch.tv slash youandspets. And... Uh, Facebook.com slash retrozxspectrum. Um, was there a better driving game control-wise? than wet Clement. Let me know in the comments. <laughs>